You, you remember the Al Franken Amendment saying, hey, uh, if you're a defense contractor, you need to be able to give uh, people who have suffered rape or sexual assault uh, in your workplace um, a forum in civil courts. You can't just push them into arbitration where the uh, companies win a great majority of the time because they pay the arbitrators, and you need to give them a hearing. Now, shockingly enough, this should have been a very, very simple and obvious bill that passed easily. Uh, had 30 Republicans vote against it. Of course, no Democrats, but 30 Republicans said, no, uh, if you suffer sexual assault or rape at work, uh, you should go into arbitration anyway. And uh, David Vitter actually uh, said publicly, uh, he's a Republican from Louisiana, well, if it was just rape, I'd think about it, but, you know, uh, if it's other forms of sexual assault, uh, then you really need to go to arbitration and not bring this into the U.S. court system. That would seem to be an incredibly heinous quote. And in fact, uh, funny enough, it's been perceived as such in Louisiana. I mean, the Republicans have escaped harm so often for whatever they say. I remember when Bush said, uh, I'm not concerned about Osama bin Laden. And he never caught any flag for that, which is amazing, right? But in this case, uh, a lot of the newspapers in Louisiana, have said, and including some of the ones that are not known to be uh, on the left side, have said, hey, you know what? This vote is fairly indefensible. And you should try to defend it because... Right now, you haven't really tried, and it looks really bad. So a constituent of his went up to him and asked him about it. Now, as it turns out, she was a rape victim. So obviously, she takes this very personally, as she should. And she's going to ask him a direct question, and he's going to run for the hills. Let's watch. Senator, I'm a rape victim. I need to ask you for other credit card bills. Because all these things have a lot bigger, there's a lot more image. And it meant everything to me that I was able to put the person who attacked me in prison. And what allowed me to do that was our judicial process. I showed up at court every day to make sure that happened. And I'm absolutely, and I'm absolutely supportive of any case like that but being there are prosecuted criminally to the silent. full extent and, of the law. And, and, and nothing, help. nothing in that support, amendment prevents how criminal... How can you support a company that tells a rape victim that she does not have the right to defend herself? Well, Ma'am, the language in question did not it's, say that. But it's unconstitutional to have... Right. We have it's unconstitutional to have a clause that says a woman does not have realize, the right to defend herself. You realize President Obama was against that amendment? His administration was against that amendment. But I'm not asking Obama, do you, do you think I'm he, asking you. Do you think he's in favor of rape? I am asking you, Senator. What about the woman with cancer? What Senator? if it was your daughter that was raped? Would you tell her to be quiet? What about the woman with cancer, Senator? Thank you, Senator. Would you tell your daughter to be silent? Is there a chance to act? He said, uh, well, you know, President Obama's also in favor of that. That is not true. Of course. <laughs> I know, you're shocked, right? Now, it is a little complicated and for which uh, the Obama administration should take some flack, don't get me wrong. The Defense Department said, oh, well, it's going to be hard to administer this. Boo-hoo. You know how much uh, the Defense Department administers, especially when they're giving our money away to the military-industrial complex? A hell of a lot. Now, all of a sudden, this is tough to administer? Please, right? But the Obama administration, the White House itself, came out and said, no, we're definitely in favor of this amendment uh, that uh, Franken put forward. Now, if you are, you better get your Defense Department under control. But that does not address at all what uh, she asked the senator. Why did you vote against it? I'm not asking you about Obama or his Defense Department or whoever put out a statement from either side there. I'm asking why did you vote against it? Look, why did, it's, it didn't take that long. Why don't you just give an answer? If you have a good answer and you say you don't like the language, well, what part of the language did you not like? You have a perfect opportunity there. Give us an answer. And he didn't. Instead, he ran. He ran because it's an indefensible vote. You know, look, if the Democrats know what they're doing, they will press on issues like this. And you know what the Republicans would do? The shoe was on the other foot. He's running in 2010, right? His opponent, if he was a Democrat, what the Republicans would do is Senator Vitter in favor of rape. Uh, and they'd run that ad over and over and over again. You think they wouldn't? <laughs> then you haven't been paying attention. Now, if you ask me what's reality, no. Senator Vitter, as far as I know, is not in favor of rape. That's too strong. But he is in favor of taking women who have been sexually assaulted at work, including rape, including Jamie Lee Jones, who was gang raped uh, when she worked for KBR in Iraq. That's a subsidiary of Halliburton. And denying 
those women are, are justice system, whether it's a civil justice, in this case, the civil justice system, and pushing them into arbitration where they are overwhelmingly likely to lose. And that's hideous. And if you're a woman voter or a, man, a male voter in Louisiana, what does that say about uh, David Bitter? And, and do you want to vote for a guy like that? Very fair questions.